Hi, I'm Trinity Scarf and I'm here with Sophie Coe, resident Hello. optometrist for Optometry Australia. So Sophie, I was with some friends on the weekend and one of them was talking about how she's struggling to read, particularly at night time and things like that. And I said, well, I think you're facing presbyopia. And she said, what? And so did all the other friends. And I realized it's a bit of a funny word. A lot of people don't know it and a lot of people don't even know it's a thing. Mm. So Sophie, what is presbyopia? Well, presbyopia is actually Greek uh, for old eye, unfortunately. Right. So when we're younger, our lens and our focusing structures within our lens is very nimble and flexible and can help you focus far away and up close very quickly. As we get older, into our late 30s and 40s, um, this process slows down for us and it happens to all of us. Our eye is just like a camera. We have a shutter at the front and a lens inside our eye, just like a camera. Right, and yeah. imagine that lens and the camera um, aging and, and losing its ability to focus. And that's what happens to our eyes when we hit our late 30s and early 40s. So what can we do for it? Well, there's quite a few options. There's spectacles, there's contact lenses, or surgery with an eye doctor can sometimes fix presbyopia. The first two, the spectacles, uh, reading glasses, is probably the most easy option. You sure. um, pop it on when you're wanting to read a menu at a restaurant or sew a needle and you pop it back into your pocket. And then there's another spectacle option called multifocals where you can have the distance and the reading portion all incorporated into your glasses yeah. and you can leave it on your eyes all the time. You don't have to pop it away. And contacts. Yeah, well yeah. I, I wear contacts for myopia or short-sightedness mm -hmm. every day. So what about when I get presbyopia, what are my options going to be? Yeah, we're pretty lucky that um, we've moved along with contact lens options for presbyopia or yeah. needing to read up close. The optometrist might talk to you about uh, with two options. One is monovision where um, they'll leave your distance lens in one of your eyes and then take the lens out from the other eye and pop your reading prescription in. Wow. So you're walking around with two sets of um, you know, tasks in your eyes. Right. Um, and some people love it and some people don't but yeah. it's, it's um, best to talk to your optometrist about that. The second contact lens option is a multifocal contact lens where there's concentric rings incorporated distance and reading uh, parts into the contacts uh, and again some people love it and some people don't. I guess that shows it, how important it is to chat with your optometrist about yeah. all of the different options yeah. and which one um, suits your lifestyle. And best. it's important to have review appointments so that you, there's an opportunity to tell your optometrist um, you know whether you are say you are uh, a, a, a love, you love to paint and a certain distance is uh, is required for your focusing up close yep. um, or if you are a mechanic and you're looking at things up close all the time at this distance so sure. it's very important that um, your personal situation is discussed with your optometrist. Okay all right well so to wrap up presbyopia means old eye um, it <laughs> happens to all of us and there are several solutions multifocals reading glasses contact lens solutions and to talk with an optometrist or to find an optometrist, use our uh, find an optometrist search function and make an appointment to discuss these types of things because I guess it's just facing uh, the inevitable when it comes. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. Thanks.